Hey, your eyes have been nailed on me for quite some time now. Trying to look away now will make a difference. So, is there something you want to say to me? Am I a bit too tall? Blocking your view of the lecture board? <laughs> you are stuttering too much for me to understand you. Come on, you need to speak up a bit more. Why are you whispering? There is no one else here. Not unless you count those guys hovering at the door. We can promise you they're not paying attention to us. Hmm. You seem like a pretty jumpy person. I don't want to force you if it's going to cause some sort of a panic attack. So, guess I'll just pack my things and leave. Have a good day, then. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Did you just say you have a crush on me? I'm sorry to say I'm not really into relationships. You know I'm in the honors program, right? I'm on the student council, too. So there's a lot of things I deal with every day. I'm afraid, even if I did indulge you, it would only lead to a sour ending. But, I have a different proposition in mind. That is, if you find it difficult to shake your interest in me, we can be that sort of friends. You get what I mean. Right? You're blushing so much. I figured it would be a lot for you to process, but I don't think you're against it. Do I find you attractive? I wouldn't have brought this up if I didn't. <laughs> If you want, we can meet at your place after school to talk things out. And if the mood is right, something more, too. You've got a nice little apartment here. I like those Russian dolls you have on your shelf. Just like us, they have layers and layers. Multiple facets beneath the outer shell. Tell me, what about me attracts you so much, other than my looks? My intelligence. I always score the highest in class. <laughs> I don't think school has anything to do with intelligence. School is really just an institution for perseverance, for learning basic life skills. Besides, the more intelligent you are, the filthier your thoughts get. Even the most beautiful philosophy turns rotten when churned in our minds. Take, for instance, the act of charity. The richer gives to the poor. When we see the poor suffer, we feel pity towards them. 
Sometimes we give pity another name. Love. Pity is really just a desire of possession. To establish a dynamic where you, as the rich, keep the poor dependent on your whims. By keeping them as your dependents, you've gained power over them. The world is the will to power and nothing beside. So tell me, how much do you think your attraction to me is rooted in this desire of power? Am I not ideal? I appear clean, healthy, attractive, prime qualities of wealth, to do it with me, to feel me inside you. This is also an evolutionary trait. The cells and the atoms that form your body crave procreation. Crave to be born again in another body, and another, and another. <coughs> and that, my dear, that is why you agreed to this. Rather than agreed, that is why you want this. That is why... <coughs> You want to be embraced by my warmth.